Hey everybody, Thrift Story Hacker back again, and today we're going to make a kind of a classic American windmill design, and we're going to use this 26-inch bike tire here, or bike rim here, and we're going to use foam board for the blades. We're going to make a dozen blades for it. The way I started is I marked every third spoke on here, which makes it come out to a dozen of the, well, 12 fins that I will need to cut for this project. And the way that I'm going to set the fins is I'm going to take a little glue, I'm going to put some glue up here, set the fin, I'm going to set it on the line of the spoke here, dead center on the top here, and then on the outside line we're going to take a screwdriver and we'll just punch a hole. And through that hole, we can put one of these zip ties, and we can zip tie it around the spoke here and fit it on there. And it would also make it fairly movable, so I, if I need to reset the uh, pitch of the blade, because I'm not sure of the pitch on the blade yet. So let me cut 12 of these out, and I'll be right with you. I'll have those cut and mounted on here. And zip tied on the outside, I added a little drop of glue there to keep them from sliding back and forth. Also have it glued up on the other end. And next we're going to lean these uh, blades over and get them spinning in the direction we need them to so we can uh, get ready to generate power. So I kind of eyeballed the pitch on the blade for this, but I used these bolts, put a little epoxy on the end of them, and just set them up right there at the... Uh, spoke right behind the one that I have the blade connected to. And it should lean over at about a, you know, about a 45 degree angle. Um, it's not going to be completely efficient. You know, I'm not going to have this finely tuned, but we will be able to play with it and change the angle after I get everything assembled. But this seemed to be a pretty good way for it to work. As I said, you can change the, the angle of the blade or I can make a small adapter on the end there. Now that the epoxy is set up, we can bend these blades uh, to the uh, angle that we wanted them. We're going to put them right up against the head of the bolt there. And aside of the bolts and the bicycle wheel, I got all the blade material at the dollar store. The zip ties, the glue, and the uh, foam board there. So I'm in this about three bucks. And now that the glue's dried, I can set it up on its side, give it a spin and check it out. I have it up on my tripod right now. And it looks pretty good. Now the way I plan on connecting the motor to this is I have two options. I can use the channel in the wheel there, or I can use this sprocket here. But the sprocket I'm actually going to use as a brake. That way it'll only spin one direction and it'll lock up if it tries to go the other direction. And I can get a better gear ratio to the motor if I just use the uh, channel of the rim there where the tube usually goes. Now we got everything set up here. Let's try to give it some wind. I have this uh, fan next to me here that I was using the prop off of for the last propeller. But let's kick the fan on and see what it'll do. And it almost instantly started up there. So that we know we're, we're onto something. I think we can make some power out of this. Uh, it's all going to be in the gearing from now. We have to gear it to the motor. That way the motor doesn't cause a whole lot of drag. And I'm also thinking we might need to go with a smaller motor for the job. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, I need to figure out a way to mount this and hook the motor up to it. And we can continue on with another video. Until next time, build stuff, have fun, wear a mask, and stay safe, folks.